What's up Scrappy peeps? It's Adele from Inky Quill and today I'm diving into a bit of my older stash. Now I've sped this up quite a lot because I spend a bit of time uh, layering papers and punching shapes. So I'm making a non-mixed media layout today. It's just all paper except for some Heidi Shine splatters because I don't see that as mixed media and I need my Heidi Shine. <laughs> I can't do it without it. So the first thing I'm doing is I'm actually using just some uh, graph paper from an exercise book and I'm using that because I wanted something white um, and I've just been really enjoying the graph design like little squares. I've really been enjoying that. Next up I've got an old dictionary page just ripped out of an old vintage dictionary that had a bit of water damage that I use in my art journaling and my junk journals and I'm just layering that behind it as well. I really like white and cream together and I know that there's a lot of scrappers that are cringing as I say that but I think you can mix white and cream as long as the cream isn't too cream if that makes sense, if it's a, a whitish kind of cream. Um, and also if you do some other elements on the page that have white or cream on them so it doesn't just look like it's been just plonked down with no care. So today I'm actually showing you how to use pink in a boy page. Now I realise that this wouldn't work maybe for a 14 year old boy but He's a little baby and I love him and we associate pink and red with love. So I decided to do a pinky red page and I think having the black and white photo is a big um, help when doing something like this with a boy page because it still does bring that, uh, that contrast rather than having everything fluffy and pink and girly. But I'm more than okay with having pink and fluffy and girly because I, I'm making the page and I like pink so I might use pink. So next up I'm doing some cheat layering. Now if, you're, if you've got scraps and you're trying to make them work you can always do cheat layering like this. I just kind of wanted to make, because he's lying on a blanket, I kind of wanted to make it very um, textury, the, back, the background layers. Now we have a bit of a disaster. So I grabbed this gift wrap and it's like clear cellophane with pink polka dots. And I start off wanting to do just one layer of this clear cellophane. But then I decide to do two. And I'm like, okay, that's all right. I'll just stick the two pieces of cellophane together. Turns out there's three pieces of cellophane and I put the sticky tape on the third piece that I didn't know was there. You'll see in the end. In the end it works, but I'm left with a very wonky um, packet of cellophane that I've got to try and fit back into my stash. So then I'm like, oh yeah, look, I can just peel that back, pop the tape down, and then put that piece back on, and it'll be it'll be all good. Well, it'll all work out. And then I take the tape off, and I realise that, ah, there's another page. So then I, instead of losing my cool, I just hack that piece off um, and then I stick it down. I miss part of it. There's tape that's showing everywhere. Uh, it's just, it, it, it wasn't a great time, but I made it work. Just, just don't give up. Keep going. Don't throw it away yet. You can still fix it up. So now I'm going to stick my little picture in the bottom corner. And the reason why I did that is because he's looking to the left or my left um, I like to have my subject of my photo look into the paper rather than out of the paper so I feel like if I'd put him on the other side then it would have looked like he was a bit disinterested in the scrapbook page I know that sounds really silly but <laughs> Aaron's laughing at me but it's it's true it would look like he was like Oh mother, why are you still sticking paper and photos together? Don't you have anything better to do? <laughs> Whereas by looking into the page, he's like, ooh, let me have a look what you've done. I know, it's it's early, peeps. It's early and this is my first voiceover of the day, so get ready for some more fun times on the voiceover. Um, but I'm adding some craft foam because I do do something in the background that is going to be a bit fun and I wanted my photo to not be as flat and like I said before with that blanket I kind of wanted things to be a bit textury and by putting it up on the craft foam it um, makes it a little bit more 3D 
that's I know that's not a word but it works so next up I'm punching out some hearts this is actually a sticker sheet that I made on a patreon video um, where I showed how to make a really quick and easy mixed media background and then I'm going through my old old paper pad from seven paper which is studio calico brand uh, and it's quite old um, it'd be a few years old I think and I just have I, I have abandoned my six by six papers not all of them but basically anyone that's not crepe paper crepe paper has my heart and they're close by but these other brands I buy because they're so beautiful but then I forget about them so I'm trying to use my older stash so if you're watching play along with me and grab for your next project a six by six paper pad that's just been gathering dust you might not like every paper in it that's okay you are allowed to de-stash some of the papers and not use them at all it's it's all right um, but yeah I just decided to and it's a good way when you do these little like punch shapes it's a good way to um, use up some some papers that you you haven't really used much of I have a spider crawling across my table ah it's all right it's gone now tangent anyway back to the layout I decided to do a little heart punching and I decided to make a heart of hearts and the reason why I did this is I felt like I needed I needed some sort of focal point um, and you'll see that in the end I actually use it for some journaling as well I didn't plan out where my hearts were going to go I just went with my gut feeling and didn't put two of the same papers together obviously um, but I also just tried to space out the colors so I'd try to space out the black and white ones the red ones the pink ones and the white ones and the gold ones so that um, I didn't have two of the same kind of color next to each other my heart punch is actually a little bit blunt I think I have to sharpen it do you, has anyone tried our foil um, aluminium foil or as the Americans call it aluminum do you call it aluminum foil we call it aluminium foil here um, but has anyone tried to use aluminum foil to uh, punch on to resharpen their punches let me know if it worked because I could really do with some sharpening I think they're just getting a bit kind of fluffy around the one side of the heart which which is quite frustrating when I when I look at it up close not that anyone else could tell but I can tell and when you punch so many of them that they're all in front of you you can really tell <laughs> so then I'm just adding a couple of little tiny hearts just to add a little bit of detail and I felt like some of my hearts were fading into the background a little bit so I grabbed my 0 0.3 uh, Stadler pigment liner and I'm just going around them the reason why I'm using a 0 0.3 is because I've lost the 0 0.1 and the 0 0.2 which are my favorite sizes it's all good just grab the next best, next best thing that works and you can see just by adding that black it really ties in the black and white of the photo and the black of my title as you will see it coming up I grabbed these uh, crepe paper stickers I think this is the gather collection which is a few collections ago and I'm trying to use up my sticker sheets uh, so I can get them out of my stash and maybe in a few months time do a little online order and buy some new ones because crepe papers come out with a number of new collections that I haven't really been able to get my hands on because I was on a, a spending freeze and saving up for Christmas presents um, so I think in a couple of months time I might kind of revitalize my stash and by that time I should have used up quite a few sticker sheets so I wanted to use the sweet that was on the sticker sheet but then I also found a sweet was on I think they're pebbles someone told me they're pebbles uh, thickers the word ones the foam the big black foam one um, and then I'm adding it with some old Amy Tan vellum letters there I think they're vellum no they're not vellum they're just see-through they're, they're very see-through so I tend to only use them on white backgrounds because they are quite difficult to see if you are going to layer that like if I was to layer them over that bottom part of the photo where there's the polka dots and the stripes and the the uh, print of the dictionary page you wouldn't have been able to see the U very well 
I'm adding some gold foil hearts from a pink fresh sticker sheet and I think about adding a puffy but I think it's just enough as it is and then I wanted to add some journaling and I the, usually I would probably have put my journaling above the sweet um, but I decide to do it inside the heart and I don't usually do this because I get confused with um, with following writing that is separated so if I was to start writing on one side of the top of the heart and then there's the gap and then keep writing on the other side of the heart my eyes that doesn't work properly so I've just actually I've just actually left that top of the right side of the heart just empty and I do do some Heidi shine there to fill it up a little bit I freaking love this layout it was so easy to make I've only sped this up three times so it's, I think it took me half an hour to do um, and a lot of that was punching and fighting with that pink polka dot cellophane so I'd say a good 10 minutes of the of the layout was actually <laughs> punching and fighting which sounds very violent I promise it's not at all I was just punching shapes and and just politely telling the cellophane to to behave itself um, it didn't really listen anyway so that was no good so now I'm doing some roll stamps because I, if you're one of my Patreon peeps, you would have watched my 2018 scrappy resolutions and one of them is to use my stamps more and one of them is to rotate my products more. And I've done both of that by rotating some new roller stamps into the little container that I keep under my desk um, just to try and find some old golden oldies again and to fall in love with my stamps again because they are very, very neglected. But the jazz hands are up, so the layout must be all done. And I'm sorry about the brightness, because I was filming in a new spot, the light was coming in and out a little bit. But as I bring it up to the camera, you will be able to see all of those little tiny hearts. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Let me know if you liked seeing a non-mixed media layout. Um, I hope you do, because there's three more of them to come. <laughs> um, so they'll be up over the next probably month or so. And don't forget to subscribe if you're new and I'll see you all next time. Bye.